Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Back again with some more YouTube news content for you people here. So let's talk about MH370. That's right, because in four days, it's officially going to mark exactly 10 years, a decade since flight MH370 disappeared. That's right, because originally the flight was a Boeing 777 jetliner, and I've flown on the Boeing 777 jetliner plenty of times, and the flight was originally flying from uh, Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, to Beijing, the capital of China. That was the original destination of the flight where it just suddenly disappeared from radars and to this day nobody exactly knows what happened to the fate of all the people that were on board that flight and you know I feel bad for all the families you know that still today don't know where their loved ones are you know because that is something I would never wish upon anybody you know just a knowing that no not knowing where your loved ones are is just the worst feeling possible you know because then you can't even bury or you know you can't even give them like a proper uh i guess you could say a proper send-off like how they do in funerals and all that so yeah i i feel bad for all the families you know that uh, lost their loved ones on this flight you know so basically it says here that government government officials in malaysia said on sunday they'd be open to resuming the search for malaysian airlines 370 after a private company approached them about potential new evidence pointing to the location of the boeing 777 so according in a statement the malaysian government's position is consistent officials said in a statement we will commission a further search operation when new information and credible evidence is ascertained that's right uh, the flights uh disappeared like i said it disappeared on march 8 2014 and i still remember because when it was dominating the headlines at that time because for example like uh, everywhere on the news networks they were talking about this and i believe a lot of people were also talking about this at school because if i remember i was in a skype call with my friends when when one of uh when one of my friends friends from school basically broke the news or something and you know I was just shocked you know and I still remember seeing the pictures of you know the uh, the passengers you know and how he, the ones that were waiting for their uh that uh, were waiting for the flights to land you know I still remember just the the uh, really uh the heartbreak on the past on the uh, you know victims on the passengers families uh, faces because I seen the pictures and that was just really heartbreaking to watch because like I said that is something I would never ever ever wish upon anybody because that is just terrible I mean think about it you don't know where your loved ones are and like I said you can't even give them a proper send-off AK you can't even give them a funeral or whatever type of you know tradition they uh, they do and all that uh, you know as a way to like for example whenever a loved one passes away and all that stuff but yeah uh, this is just really uh it's really scary to think that a boeing 777 jetliner can just go missing like this without a trace without a trace exactly almost 10 years later and it's just i just don't understand how come like uh you mean to tell me that it's been officially what's 10 years now and they still can't find the missing jetliner it's just uh it's terrible, man, because, you know, I've seen plenty of documentaries, especially like whenever I watched a testimony for online from the victims, from the uh, MH370's victims' families and all that. So this is just a really heartbreaking uh, tragedy, you know, just, uh, just it's just shocking. And obviously, uh, I am aware of the pilot, obviously, the MH370 pilots, you know, uh, he most likely had something to do. Let's be honest, the, the pilot for MH370 had definitely something to do with the disappearance because I still remember when the captain, when his final recording was goodbye flight 370. That was, that was the words of the Malaysia 370 captain. That's right. And it's just, man, just it's terrible because I still remember that same year. That is the same year that, you know, flight MH17 got a shot down over Ukraine too. So, you know, it's just... Um, it's just really uh, disheartening that stuff like this happened because this should have never happened. And it's like, it's it's unreal to think that almost 10 years later, they still haven't been able to find it because it's like, not only is this not fair to the families, but it's like, they deserve some closure, okay? Like, come on, man.